In this video, I'll be showing you how to do the initial conformational search and pre-optimization calculations used for uh, the thermochemistry and geometry calculations. The example that I'll be using here will be on lysine, or a, actually protonated lysine, but remember that if you are to do cal thermochemistry calculations to determine proton affinity or deprotonation enthalpy, you will have to make the do this calculation for the ion, ionized structure and also the neutral. So I've already built my lysine molecule and what I want to do is calculate the geometries on the protonated lysine structure at this nitrogen over here. So what I'm going to do is add this nitrogen in from this build menu and have it connect. What I'm going to do is do a quick minimization to make sure that all the bond angles are correct and then just make sure to check if the molecule seems fine. The next thing that I'm going to do is do an initial conformational search on a variety of different rotomers. So what this software will do is that this will rotate all the bonds to find the preliminary lowest energy calculations. So how this will be done will be going done by going to setup, calculations, clicking on this drop down menu, and then conformer distribution. So this will calculate distribution of conformers of this molecule. And I will use a very, very low level of theory, which is molecular mechanics, and it would be the Merck molecular force field. I want to calculate a maximum number of conformers, so instead of the default 10,000, I will add two extra zeros just to make sure that I have calculated all the different rotations possible. And then click on this button called percent conformers kept. And I will keep 100% of the conformers. 100% means that it will only keep 100% of the lowest 100 structures. So once this is set up, I don't have to do anything except click submit, which will prompt me to save the file. So I'll just make a new folder and proceed with the calculation. So this will tell you that the calculation has started and it's going. So you just click OK. And to check on the progress of the calculation, click Options up here, Local Monitor. And this window will pop up showing the possible candidate structures um, of the maximum that was that was determined. So this will calculate up to 400. So once this is done, I'll unpause the video and proceed where we left off. Alright, so the calculation finished. This monitor has gone blank, so you can close this out. And this will give you a prompt that says the calculation has completed. Just click OK. And it will ask you, would you like to open the new document, which is the results file of the previous calculation. So click Yes. All right, so in this file right here, these are all the results of all the different confirmations. Um, you can see on this bottom corner that 100 molecules were generated. And if you click on this arrow, you can see all the different confirmations that were created. If you also click on this spreadsheet over here, you can view all the different molecule labels. And also, if you click Add, you can apply a energy value that can sort out all the molecules by the different energy values. So this is showing that this is the low en lowest energy conformer initially, so we'll deal with that. Now that 100 molecules have been calculated or have been generated at first, the next thing I'm going to do is bring this to a second low energy calculation that is slightly better than molecular mechanics. So again, I'm going to proceed to do another calculation by clicking on Setup, Calculations, Equilibrium Geometry this time. So now that I have 100 conformers, I want to calculate the geometry using a different level of theory, which is semi-empirical. 
I like to use PM6 just because it's a more recent semi-empirical calculation, but the other standards are AM1 or PM3. Now this window will be slightly different, so what this is saying is to start from the current geometry, meaning that start from this geometry that you are giving it, and the total charge of the molecule is important, so the total charge this time will be a cation, so plus one. If you're doing an anion, then make sure to do minus one, or if you have a multiple charge species, make sure you do it appropriately. There are zero unpaired electrons in my molecule, so I don't have to worry about this. One thing that I want to do is click Global Calculations, because this lets you do calculations on all 100 of these molecules within this package file. The last thing that I want to put to make sure that these calculations proceed without error is this keyword geometry cycles equals 1000. So this makes sure that there are enough geometry cycles or calculation cycles to finish optimization. Sometimes this will fail if there are not enough calculations. Um, if there are not enough cycles within the file. So I'm just going to click Submit, and then view, the, view it in the local monitor to keep an eye on it. All right, after some time, the semi-empirical calculations have finished. So I'm just going to close this monitor, and just click OK on this completion notice right here. To view all the calculated and optimized structures at the semi-empirical level, you can either click through, or I like to sort these structures using the spreadsheet tool and looking at all the energies. So what you can do is you can click on this energy bar right here and then click sort. And what this does is that it this sorts all the molecules by the label number or by the energy number. So this sorts it by the energy, and I, you can see that molecule 0001 is no longer the lowest energy confirmation, but the lowest energy confirmation is molecule number 36. All right, so what I'm gonna do is trim down this list because I want to bring only the lowest 20 molecules or the lowest 20 structures to an intermediate calculation as a pre-optimization step for quantum mechanical ca calculations. So I'm just going to count to 20 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And basically model uh, molecule 34 is my 20th structure, so I'm just going to delete anything after that. So I'm just going to select number 21, and then Scroll down, hold shift to select all of these structures, and then click delete. So this will delete the 80 molecules from the 100 molecule package. And then you can see that now that this list has been trimmed to the lowest, tw tw lowest energy structures that are in the bottom 20. The next thing that I'm going to do is apply an intermediate level optimization theory. So I'm going to select equilibrium geometry, and instead of semi-empirical, just go up one step, hartree fock using a basis set of 3-21G in a vacuum or in the gas phase. So the vacuum is the gas phase. I want to start from this geometry. So within each package, if you click through, each molecule will have its own starting geometry. That's important. Um, and then I also want to make sure that the total charge is plus one. I also want to compute what's called the IR frequencies. So the IR will calculate the vibrations to um, create an IR spectra. But then with this, you can also include thermodynamics as well. So instead of calculating this at zero Kelvin, you calculate this um, at 298.15 Kelvin. Um, so as I select that. I'll keep the geometry cycles equals 1000 just in case, and then to make sure that this calculation gets applied to all 20 structures within this package, I make sure that global calculations is checked. And then I can submit it, 
and I'm going to pause this for maybe an hour or so because these calculations will take a substantially longer time. All right, so the calculation completed, it at least calculated 10 molecules at the Hartree-Fock level that we were doing. Um, and then I just killed the rest. So whether it completes or not, you'll have a notice and you just click OK. Um, to view the results, basically you have the new geometries and then these new energy values calculated um, at the, uh, the Hartree-Fock level. So then you can just click Sort. And then this will sort it by basically the uh, lowest energy conformers. And then you can see that the lowest energy conformer has changed again using a more rigorous method. And then, so what we're going to do is save the final 10 and subject that to quantum chemical calculations um, to get the predicted thermochemistries and the um, predicted IR spectra. So I'm going to count like a, how I did s with the previous uh, calculation. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm only saving the final 10 and just deleting the rest. So just delete those 10 molecules. And now I have the 10 final structures, which I will import into Gauss view and run the calculations on Gaussian, either on the computer or on the supercomputing cluster and that will be another um, another tutorial so basically with just these 10 structures um, now that this has been trimmed what you're going to go do is close this out and then save this save it as not a spartan file but a mole 2 file which will save the 10 molecules into a mole 2 file which can be opened up in the gauss view software so i'm going to click save and I don't want to calculate the charges, but if it doesn't really matter, you can you can click Millikan, Electrostatic, or Natural. It doesn't matter because the other software is not going to use it. And click OK. So I want to write all the molecules, so these 10 molecules that have been calculated, and then save it in a mol 2 file. So in the next series of videos, what we're going to do is pretty much take a look at this and open it into Gauss view. So as a preview, I will take this mole file that I've created and then make Gaussian input files using Gauss view um, to, uh, to submit for higher level calculations. So these were the 10 structures that were calculated and then their respective names. So I'm just going to hold shift, select them all, and then import them all into Gauss view. So you can see that they have been calculated here.